talked about people and their dogs because even people with their dogs are ridiculous nowadays. Oh, yeah. People with their pets are oh, just yes. And you know what? Ridiculous. I was about to say, my father hates it when you call people dog parents. Ooh, Ooh. if you want to get under his skin, say dog mm-hmm. parent. Because you didn't give birth to that thing. I mean, no, but even Judge Judy said on an episode, you know, I love my Judge Judy. Judge Judy said on an episode not long ago, she said, now listen. If we're talking about kids, I've got enough of them. But when we're talking about my dog, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Because mm-hmm. I'm not letting anybody mess with my dog. Mm-hmm. She said she had enough kids. Mm-hmm. You might be able to take, in other words, you might be able to take one of her kids out, but don't mess with the dog. <laughs> you, that's your Judge Judy, though. You that's love my girl. Your, that's that's my girl. your That's we the love of your life. We are a dog loving nation mm-hmm. and a cat loving nation for all you idiots who love cats. Mm-hmm. They don't love you back. And well, they, they'll eat your ass as soon as you die. Mm-hmm. And I think cat owners are actually okay with that. If I wasn't oh, allergic to if, if I wasn't allergic to cats, I can tell you I probably have a cat in the house. Oh, I'm allergic to cats. But we my, don't have a cat in the house. Uh, well, I'm allergic to cats, so that's not going to happen. I don't hate cats. Mm-hmm. They're evil and they steal your breath in your sleep, but I don't mm-hmm. hate them. I love cats because they're evil and they'll steal your breath in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I love cats. Well, those are mm-hmm. those are the familiars of witches that might be in your neighborhood and mm-hmm. creeping in, in through your window. Mm-hmm. Still okay with that. Still okay. I can stand up to a cat. Oh no, no you problem. can't. Oh no, you I can't. I have no Girl, dude, problem. You with, don't understand. Don't me out at me. Cat saliva is very dangerous. Mm-hmm. And even my friend works works at a veterinarian. If we are still friends, I don't know. Uh, works at a, works at a veterinarian, and the cat would if a cat bit you mm-hmm. or scratched you, you're going to the hospital. That's the rule because they do have a thing called cat scratch fever, and you can die. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been don't mess with no cat, honey. Well, I've been bitten and scratched by cats. God knows how long, how many times. So I'm okay. Mm, and you might not be. You might not know. Yeah. Well, that's Ash, uh, mm-hmm. it happened to Naomi Judd, the Judd mama. She had hepatitis all those years and didn't even know it. Oh, nasty ass. <laughs> Spreading her old legs all over mm-hmm. Tennessee and everywhere else. Shout out to Naomi. Love you. <laughs> but, you know, she was just, mm-hmm. mm. and, she, and, oh, oh, shock of all shocks. Naomi Judd winds up with hepatitis. Mm-hmm. The reason I almost said hepatitis is because that's what my sister calls it. Hepatitis. Girl, she's got the hepatitis. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a Greek god of disease. Of disease, exactly. <laughs> You know, that mm. is a good idea. Mm. Greek god of disease, Hippitus. Hippitus. Oh, Lord. Mm-mm. That is not a god I'd like to worship. No. I'm sorry. No. No. Uh-uh. No. Well, Hippitus visited me last night. Hippitus. Did he, did he stop by with his sister, Chlamydia? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. And I said... You can't trust those two girls. I said, no, I'm sorry. You cannot visit you here. T- Oh Lord, we are squeezins. We're down to squeezins. We're down to squeezins on this Texas tea here. Somebody should have went to the store. Uh, somebody should have, but I figured that a bottle of um, red wine. I don't know, y'all. Forgive me. I don't know who this girl is. We've never met. Mm-hmm. She's. I don't know. I don't know where she's from. Mm-hmm. Don't know nothing about her. <laughs> Apparently, she don't know nothing about me. Talk about one tired ass regular sized bottle of wine. Mm-hmm. Well, it was a very Between special. The two of us. And it was, it was delicious. It was from some baseball player that was obviously had a crush on Joel because we got a picture and everything. Mm-mm, no, he is perfectly married man, oh. and I'm not going to do any of that. But no, not with a married man. No. Y'all stop fucking with married men, please. Mm-mm. Anyway, yes, give please. Give us a bad reputation. <laughs> gay, all gay men do not like sucking married men's dick. Mm-mm. I don't. I don't want to no, suck it. No, girl, it's all no vag- up. I don't want no vagina leftovers. I'm sorry. I don't want no Mm-mm. fish leaving. And trust me, there is no woman who. And wants- look, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. Women have beautiful, beautiful things called hohos. Mm-hmm. But there is no woman on the planet that wants to walk in and find her man sucking another man's dick. There's um, no woman on this planet. Uh, my sister, well, I'm sorry. There might be one or two. My <laughs> sister walked in. My sister's best friend walked in on her husband 
his best friend, well, they were out. He went out to the mailbox to get the mail. Mm -hmm. Well, she went out to the mailbox to check on him. He was in the back of his best friend's van getting fucked up the ass. Oh, now, wow. Now, that's one thing you really don't want to talk about. <laughs> is your husband. Getting, I'd rather have my husband suck a dick than mm -hmm. get fucked up the ass. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting fucked up the ass. I say it that way because I imagine there might be a straight person out there who shudders every time I say, fucked up the ass. Mm -hmm. so, and I like the idea. Shudder away, darling. <laughs> shudder, I shudder. love the idea. Yeah, that's fun. I love the idea. It's so it's cute. It's fun making the straight shudder. I know. Together. Just a little bit. I used to know a guy who was married to a woman and understood that he and, and experienced the full sexuality of his body mm -hmm. and would allow that woman to use tools on him. Mm -hmm. This is some good wine, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is a very good wine. I am wine. talking way too much and my Whoa. sister's going to kill me if mm -hmm. she ever listens to this episode. Mm -hmm. That was just too much information. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't about me since I wasn't talking about me. And it wasn't I was talking about candy. And it didn't happen to your sister. It happened no. to her sister's friend. It so. was Candy's friend, Patty's I think it was Patty. Mm. I know it was no, 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 Patty was our coach. Um, anyway, <laughs> it was Candy's friend. Mm -hmm. Jess, no, Jessica was on hair on. Uh, it was Candy's. I'm kidding. Mm. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. Patty was on coke, but I don't know no Jessica on hair on. I just thought I'd throw her in there. <laughs> Plus, I like saying hair on. Mm -hmm. It's more fun that way. Mm -mm. Well, I got caught up in, a, in an experience years ago where a pregnant woman called me on the phone to ask me if I was fucking her man. Oh. And I, of course, said no, because I'm not going to tell a pregnant woman that, yes, I'm fuck. By the way, your man, who was super homophobic at the time, came to my house. They do that. Threw his legs up in the air and they said, fuck me. They do that. I was shocked. Don't get me wrong. I was shocked. Did I fuck him anyway? Yes, I did, because he was hot. Well, you have to. <laughs> when a straight man mm -hmm. comes mm -hmm. with a plaintiff call, mm -hmm. fuck me. You I thought to, it was going to be the other way around, but... You have to no. take that call. It's your call to do that. I know. And I thought... It, no honestly, pun intended. Honestly, I thought it was going to be the other way around, but nope. Laid in the bed, legs went straight up in the air, and he said, fuck me. I said, okay. And well, that was there all. You go. And there we And we had a good time. He did have a little bit of an incident because he was not oh, an experienced. No, bottom. no, she's not. She's, no, you're not. He was not. Oh no! no, no I just said we us. had an incident, and if you're gay, you know what that incident is. I think we all. So we don't have to go is. there. I think anybody who's over. But we, is. yes, we um, had a little bit of an incident. But sixteen knows what that is. And but some of us, condoms were used. Condoms were used. So so simple pull. Trash. Okay. Let's do this again. Girl, you're still talking about it. it. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying those of us who aren't 16 and those of us who are unfortunate enough to be 16 mm -hmm. and actually, or 14 and being fucked by some Florida teacher. <laughs> or Kevin know, Spacey. May know or what Kevin you're talking Spacey. about. May know what you're talking about. You know. But did they, mm -hmm. find, did they actually find out that he, he did not fuck that guy. He just kissed him. No, yeah, no, he didn't, no, he didn't fuck him, but, no, you know, he, first of all, he was 14. And that's gross. Secondly, after years, years of that happening, and when this guy is now in his 40s and has to admit that that happened. He didn't have to admit it. He didn't have to, he just, but Kevin Spacey had already gotten out of, way out of control. He had been talked about as being gay for years. Everybody in the gay community knew he was gay. I who didn't know he was gay? I knew he was gay yeah. before he came out. Yeah, exactly. Family. I know my people. Exactly. You can't hide from me. You cannot hide. You can hide from me, mama. But you can't hide from exactly. me. Exactly. So, no, we all knew. But the fact that you, after this man had said that you had done that, and then you decide that you're going to oh, come see, out as he gay. Was all wrong for that. You know what? Bitch. I, Please, we that don't just, want you. We don't want you. We do not we want you. You are that would be. I, we don't identify with child molesters. Yeah, exactly. But we've had this discussion. Mm -mm. We, I'm, I'm happy to have it again. Uh, you know we what? We don't identify with child molesters. We, you know, we've we've focused so much on the Harvey Weinstein's and everything else that mm -hmm. we forget that 
Some of you queens out there have done something. There are something. a lot of guys out there who haven't come out and told the truth because they can't. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of guys out there who still can't mm -hmm. because they feel like they won't be able to work in the industry. Yeah, exactly. An industry that is made up of people who pretend to be other people for a living. Yeah, so exactly. So if you can't be a gay man and still get respect in the industry as an actor, then there's something wrong with the industry. Yeah, exactly. It's called acting, people. Mm -hmm. Gay men have been winning Tonys for playing straight men for hundreds of years. Yeah, exactly. Not hundreds, but you know what I'm saying. And the truth is, people should be able to come out of the damn closet. Exactly. It's just causing too much trouble. It come is. on now. We need to cut this shit off at the source. Mm -hmm. The source is, gay men, you need to stand the fuck up. I know it's easy for me to say because I'm a big old, almost 50-year-old queen. Who you has, got a birthday who coming a job, up. Who yeah. has a job that they don't care. Mm -hmm. But, and it doesn't work that way for everybody. Yeah. But it should work that way for everybody. And everybody should demand it. And maybe it's time after these girls have had their say. And you know how girls are. They'll never stop having their say. Mm -hmm. But there's a good reason for their say. All mm -hmm. I'm saying is there aren't enough men coming up. Because you know you're out there who have suffered the casting couch. Mm -hmm. You know. Exactly. Did whatever they could to the get the job. The voice for the men happens to be a straight man, Terry, mm -hmm. Terry Garcia, Terry Cruz, Terry Cruz. I always mm -hmm. want to call him. I guess it's because of Jerry that Garcia. Big, big hunk of chocolate, that big, big hunk of black man. That big beautiful man was uh, sexually harassed by that other weirdo rapist. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. found out was a rapist. Yeah, and, exactly. And may or may not allegedly have had sex with Corey Haim, which mm -hmm. is really disgusting. Yeah, exactly. A lot. For your help with that, because you know that kid was already fucked up enough. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Thank you for that, because you already fucked up. A, in fact, the other Corey ended up dying. No, he's alive, honey. His career's dead. No, no, no. The Corey was, Haim is the good one, the yes, one we like, the yes. one who's alive. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Corey Feldman. If you ever hear this, honey, your career's dead, and nobody likes you. Mm -hmm. And you, you're marginally talented at both. But Corey Haim passed away years ago. Yes. Yes. But they were best friends. But they were best friends. and Not yeah. at the end. They mm -hmm. got, tried to put them back together. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. Back together. Mm -hmm. But no. Nobody wants to hear from you, Corey Feldman. Please just go somewhere and sit mm -hmm. down. But, <laughs> but if... Stop trying to sing, bitch. Yes, please stop with the... Oh, please. This, the Good Morning America thing. Oh, which I was my like, gosh. Is he Such really a train wreck? And you know what? He is mm -hmm. clean and sober. Mm -hmm. That man needs a drink. <laughs> That's all I could think of when I was watching that. Give that yeah. man a line of coke. Yes, Give that please. man a drink. Give that man a crack rock. Mm -hmm. Give that man some meth. That man needs something. Yeah, exactly. Because the last thing he needs is to be on my damn TV. Mm -hmm. And if it takes crack, mm -hmm. coke, heroin, mm -hmm. rock, meth, Huffing gasoline. I don't care. <laughs> but Put your ass in a ditch where you belong and stay off my damn television. You're interrupting but Judge Judy. That <laughs> man did. That man actually did admit something that a lot of that had been on a lot of people's mind for a long time, because that was the both of the Corys used to hang out with Mr. Michael Jackson. Uh huh. When they were kids. But you know he's. But he had never. Corey, both Corey's had both had said that he had never touched him inappropriately, had never done anything inappropriate He's not with them. Stupid. And if he did something, listen, no predator, mm -hmm. no real predator, yeah, exactly. is ever going to do anything with any of them. Mm -hmm. He's going to play with them mm -hmm. and dabble and have fun with them. Now, because you they're the understand. superstars who should be untouched. Mm -hmm. You understand how yes. this mind works? Yes, but on the same token. I had never believed. Oh, I did. I never believed it. So Even Oprah did. Oprah, don't tell it like you know you believed it. I never and believed it. And then she changed her mind on how you I did it. Let me tell you why I never believed it. <clears throat> when you think about Michael Jackson's childhood, when you think about... How Joe beat the shit out of him. When you think about all the stuff that he went through as an adult to separate himself from his family to go out on his own and do his thing mm -hmm. and everything else mm -hmm. to finally be able to live the kind of life that he wanted to live by his own rules and the man suffered from more on the lines of a Peter Pan complex because he loved children were his muse 
Well, he was living with some demons, honey, behind Joe. You know, there's all yeah. kinds of alleged behavior by mm-hmm. Joe, and I believe every damn thing. Yeah, exactly. It. But I honestly never believed. You don't believe that he ever. I never believed. And let me tell you why I never believed it. The first time, I might have believed it. I might have believed it the first time, because this was. I-